Do you know the difference between margin and markup? I bet most of you don't. And I bet most of you are using markup, which is a big problem. I get emails all the time. They're like, Jake, how, how much should I mark this up? 50%? What's a good markup? The real answer is I think you should probably be using margin. It's because margin allows you to figure out how much money you're going to make when you sell something. If you, if you use markup, you can't figure that out. It's all, it's all wacky. And you end up making far less than you, you think you should have. So here's how most people do it. They take something that's going to cost, say, $500, and they apply a 50% markup to it. Okay, And they're like, yeah, I'm going to make 50% profit. That's pretty good. And they come up with a $750 selling price. But then when you do the math, they didn't make 50% profit. They added 50% markup, but they didn't make 50% profit. They would have had to have sold that for $1,000 in order to make 50% profit. They ended up only making 33% profit. How does that happen? And that's because you're using markup instead of margin. When you want to price things using margin, all you have to do is just adjust the way that you figure this out. Say it's $500. You're going to take your calculator and type 500 and divide it by, and if you want a 50% margin, just do 0.5. And that'll equal 1,000. Now you know to charge $1,000. Let's say you wanted a 30% a margin. You would take 500 and divide it by 0.7. Don't ask me how that math works. It just makes sense. You want in 20% margin, you do 0.8. Let me give you a final example of the radical difference that this makes. And we're going to use a, nine, a big, beautiful 9x12 card. Okay, This is from my member Joshua McElmurray. I've just got it hanging around here. You can fit about 16 spaces, about 8 per side on here. And total cost is about $3,700 to send 10,000 of these out. Divide that by 16 ads, and you have $231 per ad in cost. If you applied a 50% markup to that, you would end up with a selling price of $346 per ad. In the end, you would sell $5,550 and you would profit $1,850 profit. Now, if you just switch that to 50% margin, you'll now have a selling price of $462 per ad. And once you sell out the whole card, you have, will have sold $7,400 at a profit of $3,700. So that's a huge difference. By calculating 50% margin instead of markup, you made twice the profit. And this is why, especially marketers, but business owners in general, They'll use markup to figure out their prices and they'll mix it up thinking that if I apply 30% markup, that means I make 30% profit. And they, then it, it ends up being so substantially less. And in the end of the year, they're like, man, I didn't make as much as I thought. I don't know what happened. It was just that your math was, you were using the wrong calculation. You should be using margin. So I'll see you next week on Tuesday, two-minute tutorials. Hit that subscribe button. See you later.